Hi everybody, this is Reverend Essie coming at you on the 27th of November 2010. I hope your Thanksgiving was wonderful because mine was outstanding. <laughs> I had a wonderful, God is good, I had a wonderful Thanksgiving. Me and my family got together and friends and had a good time, good meal, good sleep, amen. Food was good, prayer was good, my son opened it up with prayer. And I mean, that brother said a wonderful prayer. He made me proud. God, I'm sure God liked it. Uh, I just want to read some, um, I, I just have some uh, uh, scripture here that deals with Thanksgiving. You know, we should not just give Thanksgiving to God once a year on Thanksgiving. We should give God, Thanksgiving to God every day of our lives. And I just found some scripture I just want to read real quick. Um, and probably expound on them just a tad, you know, just a tad. <laughs> and uh, I just want to start out with, uh, let's start out with, Psalm 50, verse 14. And it reads like this. It says, um, Offer unto God thanksgiving, and pay thy vows unto the Most High. See, and notice it doesn't say on certain times of the year, or on certain days of the, of the month, offer unto God thanksgiving. You give God sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving. You thank God for everything because everything that comes from the Father, the Bible will even tell you, is a gift. God gives, he's a good Father. He gives us gifts. So therefore, thank him even if you don't realize what you're thanking him for. There are times, lately, God's been putting thanks into my spirit. I remember I was just sitting here one day and something just went into my spirit and I just stopped and I said, oh, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. I thank you for that. Whatever that was, whatever that was, Lord, I thank you for that. You know, there have been times where I felt bad on a certain day. You know, God tells us not, not to complain and everything. I felt bad on a certain day and I'm upset about this and wishing things would go better and crying or whatever. And then I found out like, for instance, I'll give you an example. Uh, recently, actually, I got a check in the mail, um, some, you know, royalties from something that I do, and, and I didn't even know that the check was being written on this certain day. And I looked on the check, and here the check was written on the same day that I had been complaining like crazy to God. While I was complaining, instead of giving thanks, while I was complaining, and, and while I was telling God that this ain't good enough, that ain't good enough, I need this, I need that, somebody was writing me a check. And this is how God operates. See, this is why you cannot have doubt in the Lord. You must believe that he is and know that he's going to help you. And, and whatever you need, God knows our needs. Philippians 4.19, my God knows all my needs. Amen. According to his riches, and he will supply according to his riches in, in, in Christ Jesus. There should be no worry. There should be no doubt. Amen. No worry, no doubt. Praise God. Psalm 92 one says, It is a good thing to give thanks unto the Lord and to sing His praises. Sing praises unto His name, O Most High. See, it's a good thing to give thanks unto the Lord. It's a good practice to thank Him for things. Amen. It's an excellent practice to thank God for things. Everything. God, thank Him for good, thank Him for the bad, and thank Him for the ugly. If it wasn't for the ugly, you wouldn't learn how to appreciate beautiful. If it wasn't for the bad, you wouldn't learn how to appreciate the good. Amen. Thank God for everything. Praise the Lord. Take out time to thank God. If you haven't been, I suggest that you start. Amen. Learn how. Practice opening up your mouth and thanking Him. Next, I have Psalm uh, Ephesians 5.20. Ephesians 5.20 says, Giving thanks always for all things unto God and the Father in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Thank Him for your food. Thank Him for your drink. Amen. Thank Him for your coffee in the morning. Thank Him for the soap that you use to wash your body. Thank Him for the water. Thank Him for the heated water. Thank Him for the heat. Amen. Thank Him for the food in your refrigerator. Thank Him that you have eggs and bacon because there's people out there right now in certain parts of the world that's eating dead animal parts, rotten, flies eating it because they have nothing else to eat. There's people out there that don't have vegetables. Thank God that your car runs. Amen. Whether it's old or new, you thank Him. And Philippians 4, 6, talking about thanks here. And it says, be careful for nothing. I'm going to read this whole thing down to 8. Be careful for nothing, but in everything, by prayer 
and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto God. Be careful for nothing it means don't worry about a thing. Don't worry about a thing. Not selective caution. It says be careful for nothing. Nichne dobre, nothing. Amen. Nada. And it says by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. That means prayer, meditation, um, talking to God, how whatever you do, whispering, talking to God, whatever you can do at the time, whoever's around you, do it with thanksgiving. And then it goes on to tell you, and the peace of God, which passes all understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Colossians 3.17. Amen. Hope you're writing these down. Colossians 3.17. It says, and whatsoever you do in word or deed, do all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God and the Father by him. Whatever you do. At your actions, your motions, whatever you do, your job, whatever you do, church, whatever you do in church, do it as unto the Lord. I'm sure you heard people say that before. Do it as unto the Lord. You don't do it for man. Do it for God, and God will take care of you. Yes, he will. Amen. First Thessalonians 5.18. We're going right along here. And 1 Thessalonians 5.18 says, In everything give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. In everything give thanks. Thanks in the morning, thanks at noon, thanks at night. Give thanks, because there's a reason for everything. To every Ecclesiastes says, to everything there is a season, a time, to every purpose. Under heaven, give thanks, because you don't know, like I said about the check, the day I was complaining, someone was writing me a check. It came 17 days later. But I got the check. And when I looked at the date on that check, I had to repent. I had to ask God to forgive me. That's a shame. Because the day they was writing a check, I mean, I was complaining. It's a shy won't. I can't even explain. I can't even explain to you. I was complaining. I was ashamed of myself. And when I looked at the date on that check, it, it, it made me feel worse. I was like, oh, Lord, forgive me. <laughs> he was blessing me on the day that I was complaining to him. How good is that? God is good. Amen. God can be blessing you on the day that you're yelling at him. The day that you're upset with him. God can be giving. He can be sending you a blessing. Giving you a blessing. Amen. And in 1 Timothy 4.4. 4, and it reads like this. For every creature of God is good and nothing to be refused. Every creature of God is good. Black, white, tall, short. Regardless of what you look like, where you're from. Dog, cat, oxen, camel, fish, birds. Every creature of God is good. When God created this world, he said it is good. Who are we to say it is bad? If he says it's good, give thanks. Amen. It's good. And nothing to be refused. If it be received with thanksgiving. Talking about gratitude. Everything God made is good. If you, listen, okay. This is the small print on a contract. If you receive it with thanksgiving. Everything God created. Every creature is good. Shellfish is good. Amen. Tongue is good. Chitlins. <laughs> They're good. Okay. <laughs> Bacon is good. Squirrel. Rabbit. How? It says, if you receive it with thanks, God intends for you to be fed. So all these people that say, oh, I don't eat that food. That's their food. Those kind of people eat that. We eat this. And don't talk about them like they're less than you because they eat it. People that eat monkey brains can be a child of God. Reverend Essie signing off.